Greetings, Uttlings. Welcome to another episode of A Day in the Life. Today we have Project Princess. It's a model year 2004, I believe. Nissan X Trail T30 with a petrol variant powertrain. Now, Vehicle Guardian reported that there was a problem with chamber number three, and now I figured out what he was saying. It appears the fastener has broken loose. It is rotating but not coming apart and I see that the coil pack sleeve is also cracked. So what I'm suspecting is, man, that's not going to be interesting. I'm suspecting that the serrated edge inside the cam cover has come apart. So the idea is to try and impact it out. Let me put my digital eye over here and zoom in a little bit, just a little bit. See whether we can get some coverage of the area. And I shall go ahead, the camera will vibrate a bit because it's mounted on the slam panel of the engine. I shall go ahead and get my 10 mil deep socket and attempt to impact it out. If I break something, I'm really sorry. It'll be on camera. So, that will not work. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do? I am suspecting we may be forced to probably damage the coil pack head because it's already cracked so I can probably jimmy a screwdriver in there yeah then try to use the impact as the screwdriver holds that I don't know I don't know how this will work let's just attempt something and see so now you can have a better understanding of what goes on when you come in for a spark plug change and things go south all right let's see what happens all right so just like in real surgery I have got a piece of I don't know what this was like a paper bag taped around the area and I would like to attempt to make this as clean as possible so the idea will be get my two chisel point tools I will attempt to hold the bottom section and then impact the screw out if I can't we will just damage the coil pack I have a bunch of these heads which I can very willingly give to the vehicle guardian for free but we need to get this out in order to inspect the plug and that is important because I'm finding some issues like the number four coil pack the the stem is okay it's not broken but there are pieces of something in here I don't know what that is either the broken rubber boot or something else is going wrong in there and since this is an ignition system I don't want issues after the fact so we shall just take care of any suspects that we may have all right so I'm going to mount this guy because we like to share in our successes as well as failures if at all any I will go back to zooming in so that you see what's up and then we shall attempt this so the idea is very simple actually but it may not always work and lighting is poor definitely poor actually talking of which My solar lamp may come in handy. I need to turn it on to maximum power. And then hang it somewhere where it can provide illumination. Okay, let's go for that. I can see copper chippings which means which means we are not okay down there all right looks like attempt number three is necessary because we are not making much progress all right looks like we have a decision made the executive council of elders has called upon me to just destroy this one there's no way we are getting it out and I have tried a bunch of tricks without causing injury to 
the cam cover. So we'd rather sacrifice the head than the cam cover. So what I'm going to do, I already have a bunch of these all working from Madonna car. They are the right spec. I will use that head and also replace the boot on the number four chamber because for sure it is chipped and broken on the inside. So that is not good. We shall retire that one. And the head is still good, so I don't think I want to change that unless we have a Swiss account somewhere. I'll also check the stem and the resistor, which is a common failure point with these cars. The resistors get cruddy and they start to go bad. So we'll clean all that out. There's some rust on this one, not so bad, but we'll clean it out. Okay, so next agenda is to simply destroy what we have not made. Let's try and do that. Probably just cut the video and get it done so that there's not too much blood loss and grief. Anyway, let's see how it goes. So now I barely touched this thing and just came apart and I decided to chip at it a little bit and nothing happened. So only a part of it on the side broke. I just had to put a hacksaw to it and this was the most painful thing I've ever had to do. Ah, oh my goodness. It is a good head wasted. All right, since we have that out of the way, I need to now protect the plug silo, then deal with this guy. And for that, we need to get back on our high horse. Again, let's see whether we can zoom in. Just figure it out. First things first, protect the area. Protect the assets. And then we can try to figure it out. It's a clean break. It appears we're not making much progress. And this thing is stuck completely. I know you guys can't see much clearly, but... Oh dear, 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 dear me. Doesn't seem to be looking too good. And I'm really trying not to break the cam cover. Because if that breaks, then we are in funk. So let's just try again to get at this. I'm not sure what ideas I have here. All right. Okay, idea number three of 3061. I cannot seem to get leverage on the unit because I have tried a block of wood with my pry bar. I feel like there's too much pressure on the crank, uh, cam cover rather. So I am not going to do that. Instead, I want to try and warm it out. And what I mean with that, by that is that I want to run the impact on it. Just get it hot enough to melt the plastic around the area. That should <laughs> ideally uh, try to give us some leverage. So I need my I need my cutter so that I can have leverage on it. The idea here is just to use this to try and jimmy it out once it's warm. These are the trials and tribulations that we as your service crew go through when you come in for a spark plug change and we end up having to deal with stuff like this. Wish me luck. Mm. 
Nothing. Okay. Take four. It appears that we do not have much of a choice. I just have to keep warming this up because it seems to be budging, but not enough. So I'm going to try not to overheat it. Yeah, we're at about 55 degrees. So I will just try this again. I think this is my best bet because it looks like we're going to be drilling and tapping this cam cover anyway. So friction should be our best friend right now. Alright, looks like I'm giving up on this one because uh, I can't seem to be making too much headway. And then as it usually happens, when I'm off camera, I'll think up an idea that just might work. So let's see what that's about. I'll be back if I'm successful. As they say, the best stuff happens off camera. So while you were away, I kind of figured something out because I knew just about how deep the insert goes. So I got my 20, sorry, my two mil drill bit and I kind of just uh, went around the nut, the bolt rather, and weakened the structure. So what then happens is it gave me enough wiggle room to pull the insert and the bolt out. This shows me that you guys, uh, the guys who are here before me, they went at this with such high torque, which is unnecessary. Whenever you're fastening plastic bits, just try use, there, there's finger tight when you're tightening something with your fingers, there's wrist tight, and then there's elbow tight. So this, stuff just needs it to be wrist tight you know just a, a notch you don't have to go overboard with it so yeah um i'm thinking how to resolve this um, probably get uh, a nut then heat it up to a nice toasty temp then have it just melt in there so that it has some sort of placement and maybe that will uh, help us with uh, uh, reinstalling it in a safe enough manner to hold the coil pack now, if you're like me, you'll usually use a magnet to hold your, your other bolts and stuff so that you don't lose them. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything left with this. There's probably no need to show you how the rest of it goes because some of these ideas are just off the cuff, off the fly, uh, on the fly rather. And I may not know whether or not I'll succeed, but as always, it's a good day at the lab and this has been a good one. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, this one ends here. Peace. This appears to be the first behind the scenes uh, shot I'm going to take after the fact because we seem to have made progress. So basically I used my flamethrower. Ah, it that never works when you're on camera. Then have a typical gas burner over there, heated up this uh, nut. Let me try and get some lighting here so that you guys see what I see. So heated up that nut until it was white hot, not even red hot. And then I simply just pushed it in. Sorry. I pushed it in and it melted the casing. And now we are going to remove the bolt or the guide bolt that I was using to put it in so it is pretty solid and the plan now is to use a Torx head because most service techies don't have these tools and I like to use them because of the fact that I don't want them interfering with this so first a little dab of hydraulic fluid just to wet the area give it a nice smooth fit and then We'll thread it in and test for firmness. Now it's pretty solid, it's not moving around, it's melted right in there. So that should hold it pretty okay. And then now comes the moment of truth. Oh, by the way, this Torx has some sort of uh, lip that prevents you from talking it all the way down. After the threads, that lip will prevent you from tightening it too much. Ah, yeah, where's my coil pack? So here we go. So I'll just put that in for the sake of demonstration. And then we take our Torx. This is a T30 Torx. And then we have our Torx driver. 
and remember what I said about things being wrist tight you don't need much force with these guys just enough to let it sit in and be nice and that's a wrap so we're going to firmly secure it after the fact because I need to check a few things here to make sure it's correctly seated plug it in and we should be good so this whole video was just about repairing one single threaded piece and that's what we've done today all right till the next one for real now this one ends here peace